Good day to you all. It is I, VSuite Reacts. And today we're watching a video from I Hate Everything. Pretty old, um, but some people would call it still relevant today. I Hate Reaction Videos, which is uh, it's kind of hypocritical of me to react to it, but yeah, let's have a go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, let's get going. Are you being serious right now? This this isn't real. This can't be real. No, uh, uh, it is real. It is what real. Do you mean it's real? Oh god. Hmm. I've been using YouTube for a long time now. I've witnessed various trends come and go at nauseam, but over the past year or so, I've started to notice an uprising of a truly peculiar type of YouTube content, and these videos in question are reaction videos. Now, reaction videos are not a complicated <coughs> concept. It literally is just someone who sits there recording their reaction to whatever it is they're watching. And on paper, that might not sound so terrible. Really, Mr. I hate everything? Why waste your time with such an inoffensive idea? Well, here's the thing. The best aspect of YouTube is that it caters for every different type of creator. You have your comedy, your movie reviews, your let's plays, your horrifically terrible animation. It's all there. But what is the key difference between all of these creators I just showed you and reaction videos? Well, they're not exactly creating anything. Mr. Derek? I know a lot of you might be thinking, well, I hate everything doesn't technically Where create anything himself yeah, either. Can you In fact, a lot of his topics piggyback from other creators' creations. Yes, yeah, and here's when things get kind of tricky. It's, it's Us YouTubers no. throw around the term no, no, transformative okay. a lot when talking about YouTube content. As in, while a video game might be a copyrighted product, a let's play on said video game can be considered transformative. Because in theory, the person recording the game is adding something inherently unique to it that can't be here, replicated right, anywhere here. else. Much in the same way that a song might yeah. use samples to make something original out of it. The argument of transformative YouTube content is relatively solid for the most part. I don't think anyone could argue that, for example, my own series The Search for the Worst could be considered a passive, purposeful abuse of other people's content, because I carefully craft it into something else, something new. Whether you actually like it or not is irrelevant. The effort, energy, and time it takes to make a video like this can easily be considered its own art form. It takes me a good three to four days to make a typical Search for the Worst episode, the script that spans over multiple pages, the recording and editing of audio, and then the actual posing of the video and editing software. I mean, it's not something to be scoffed at. I don't want to assign an arbitrary, you need to put this much time into a video for us to take it seriously, but it's at least a factor to think about. So going back to these reaction videos, where should we draw the line on what I just explained to you? When does content seemingly hold so little value on its own that it should actually be criticized for being completely barren and ultimately 100% Pointless. What entertains you is subjective, obviously. But in the same way that someone might find watching gore porn entertaining, watching reaction videos is on that same level to me. I know I just compared reaction videos to fucking gore porn, but the point is, no matter what the content is, Ooh. there is someone out there who is willing to watch it and will enjoy it for whatever their reason. That doesn't That's mean harsh. that content is of quality. That's all I'm criticizing here. There are plenty of channels that have entire discussions about new trailers, funny videos they've seen, and there are a bunch of well thought out reaction channels cool. even. But they all manage to do it without literally sitting there and watching it all the way through with their audience. They managed to do something unique. They managed to, you know, make it funny or entertaining in some way and add something to it. Next time you go to a movie theater, right. sit in the middle of the room and halfway through the movie, turn around and look behind you to all the passive, engaged people watching their product. That's effectively what a reaction video is. It's you watching someone else watching a video. That's the fucking stupidest thing I've ever heard. Now, before any of you even mm. say it, yes, my trying to watch series is effectively a reaction video. But aside from the fact that they make up about 5% of my channel, they are highly edited, skip out the crap parts of me just sat there saying nothing, and when it comes around to it, I actually have something meaningful to say about it. The biggest problem I have with these reaction videos is that they add <laughs> nothing <laughs> to the experience. Um, hey everyone, let's watch this vid you've all been asking me to react to. Mm. Okay, let's do this. Where I go, I go, down, I go, up, I go, down, 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 I go, down,
Okay, so make sure you, you subscribe and watch more of my videos. I urge you all to stay clear of crap content like this. It has no value. There's no skill or involvement that makes them worth watching. It's a shame that the word react has such a negative connotation for me now. Because as I said, there's some really well-made reaction content out there. Hell, I may not personally like it at all, but even the Fine Brothers have more going on. At least there's some kind of production value, and there's more than just people sat there silently watching a popular video that they didn't make. Hmm? Fucking talentless hack. You may try to counter everything I just said by saying that if I don't like it, then you just shouldn't watch it. Well, my name is I Hate Everything. And if I didn't criticize trivial shit that ultimately doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, then I wouldn't be doing my job right, would I? So those are my thoughts on reaction videos. It's been bothering me for a long ass time, so I just needed to get this one out. So what did you think? Do you like or dislike reaction videos? Did you like or dislike my video? Whatever it is, tell me in the comments below. Seriously, if you want a really fucking funny reaction channel, go to H3H3 Productions. Is that right? H3H3 Productions. Yeah, that's right. He's great and funny, so watch him if you really want to watch a reaction thing. Because he's, like, good and stuff. And as always, thanks for watching. Mm. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. Make sure you check out some of my other videos and second channel, Jar Media, for more weird-ass content. I'll see you next time. Bye! Hmm. I do who you need. Me the Ads and shit. Um... But yeah, that was uh, I Hate Everything's I Hate Reaction videos. Um, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you all have a good April 1st. I'm going to go back to uh, uh, my guests and uh, probably question what I do. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Please!